The Maldives are soon to become the world's very first floating country. For what many people regarded as an inevitability, the government of the Maldives recently announced their plans for creating infrastructure to support floating streets and neighborhoods within the natural breakwater created by the Maldives' chain of islands. Arguably the lowest-lying country in the world, according to NASA, the Maldives have an average elevation of just 3.3 feet above sea level and are made up of over 1,000 individual islands, which could begin to slowly disappear with rising sea levels. As such, this future development is crucial to the survival of the Maldives, as approximately 80% of the country's land area lies at less than 1 meter above sea level. Although this may seem like a disaster waiting to happen, the Maldives presents a rare and untapped real estate opportunity. The Maldives floating city is being developed with the Maldives government and designed by Netherlands-based Dutch Docklands, a global leader in floating infrastructure, along with architecture firm Water Studio, and will feature thousands of waterfront residences and services floating along a flexible grid across a 200-hectare lagoon. The Maldives Floating City, as they plan to name it, will be just 10 minutes by boat from the Capital Mail and its main international airport. The Maldives chain of islands survive primarily from its revenue of wealthy tourists and attraction to its popular coral reefs, which bring in celebrities, photographers, and media outlets looking to capture and experience the natural beauty and essence of the islands. This is the reason that the Maldives are able to offer some of the world's only underwater attractions, such as restaurants, hotel rooms, and state-of-the-art spas. Some examples include the Itha, Subsix, Lima Spa, and the Muraca. The hexagon-shaped floating segments of the development is in part inspired and modeled after the geometrical shapes of the local coral. The system of floating rows are connected to a ring of small barrier islands, which act as supplementary breakers below the water in order to lessen the impact of lagoon waves, and in order to stabilize the supporting structures on the surface. The whole city will be approximately three-quarters of a square mile, or 200 hectares, featuring low-slung residential buildings and commercial amenities on separate structures. The great part about the Maldives floating city is that it does not require any land reclamation and as such will have minimal impact on the local reefs. The island is known for its seafaring which is partially what influenced the design of the buildings, which will all be low-rise and face the sea. A small network of bridges, canals, and docks will provide access across the different segments, which will connect shops, homes, and services across the lagoon. The construction of the Maldives floating city is due to start in 2022, and the process will be completed in small phases over the next five years, with plans to eventually build a hospital and school. The majority of the city will be powered by renewable energy through the use of a smart grid, and homes will have a starting price point of roughly $250,000 in an effort to attract a wide range of buyers, which is completely reasonable price tag all things considered. The complex will include thousands of homes with plenty of commercial space for stores and basic necessities. All of this does, however, raise an important question. What will happen to the city as sea levels continue to rise? The plan is for the complex to be anchored to the barrier islands through a modular connection which can be extended as the sea levels continue to rise and even possibly submerging the barrier islands in the future. In late March of 2021, the UN Meteorological Organization warned that oceans were under threat from rising sea levels due to warmer seas, which helped to fuel a new record Atlantic hurricane season last year, along with intense tropical cyclones in the Indian and South Pacific Oceans. Also, about 40% of the global population lives within 100 kilometers of the coast, so there is an urgent need to come up with viable solution to rising sea levels in order to protect communities from coastal hazards. If the Maldives Floating City project is successful, it could set a major precedent around the world for the future of floating cities. Other territories have more time to avoid the natural rise in sea levels, but the Maldives Pier Islands like Nauru and Micronesia will have to eventually act in order to preserve their surrounding territories. It's easy to see the Maldives floating city quickly become a playground for the rich during the winter season, but hopefully there will be a healthy mix of locals in the conversation to preserve its nationality and culture. Could the ambitious experiment be a blueprint for how we'll live in the future, as climate change continues to raise global sea levels? Let us know what you think, and subscribe to our channel for future content.